Tennessee's Wild Side, broadcast for nearly two decades, was originally created through a vision of the Jackson Foundation. The Foundation remains a supportive partner in the mission to educate viewers about wildlife, natural resources, and opportunities for outdoor adventure. Although river otters are now much more visible on Tennessee waterways and landscapes, they're still really good at hiding from humans. But there is almost always a sure sighting of these incredible little creatures at the Tennessee Aquarium. We have six river otters at the aquarium. They're all males, so all boy otters, and they do each have their own unique names. So we have Delmar, Maya, Benny, Hunter, Digger, and Louie, and they're all very different. It's like kids, it's like toddlers. They're up and they're going. They hardly stop to take a beat, but then we have some that are more shy and reserved. We have some that are a little bit more bold, a little pushy. Otters are too cute for their own good. However, very sharp teeth, very sharp nails, and they're really, really strong. So Delmar is 16, he's technically our oldest. We don't know how old Hunter, Digger, Louie are. They could definitely be as old as Delmar, if not older. So we kind of just put them in the ballpark of about 12 to 16 years. Now in the wild, they're gonna live about 12, maybe 14 years. In professional zoos and aquariums, it's more around 25 and even getting, we're getting closer to 30 um, with our oldest otter in the population right now. They get to go in and out with different otters. They get to interact with different things. We try to give them their best otter lives, for sure. All right, there we go. So what he's gonna be doing is touching his nose to this target stick. And that tells him that he's doing a good job when the fish goes over. And it's a really good way to check in on how he's swimming. There it is. abrasions or anything like that. They're really fast, quick moving animals. So the ability to hold up that target stick and have him dive to the bottom and hold his breath for a little while and get a good look at his eyes, his nose, his ears, and then just moving him around from left to right, building the relationship with me is a big part of that. They get all of their favorite foods every day. We mix up their foods for them, variety is the spice of life. We've got some lake smelt for them. We have a prepared meat diet that we buy and some shrimp. And then we also have a little bit of extra fruits and vegetables. These guys will eat just a little bit of everything. So we've got carrots, we've got zucchini, we've got some corn and some grapes mixed up in there today. We have a lot of things that we can kind of substitute in their diets and just make it a little bit special each day for them. Favorites probably are carrots and bananas. And all of their foods weighed out to them. So we take their weight once a week minimal and we adjust the diet accordingly. They go through seasonal gains and losses. Right now we're all at our leanest summer bodies. They get a, a wide range of the temperatures and seasons here. In the winter, it's about 10 degrees warmer than out here. And in the summer, it's about 10 degrees cooler than out here. So we stay within 10 degrees of the outside temperature and their water does the same thing. Our otters for the public really engage them. I mean, of course, kids love them, but everyone, you know, any age is gonna love these guys. They're so playful, but it really seems to get people interested in otters. And then when you tell them, hey, they're in the Tennessee River, that's right outside our door. That's huge. We get calls uh, every now and then for people just sighting them on the river and say, hey, you said I could see them when I was at the aquarium and now I am. And that's really cool to be able to pinpoint where on the river they are. And then if we see them ourselves, that's really cool experience to share with our guests. Tennessee's Wild Side has been a presentation of the Jackson Foundation in association with Rockwater TV.